Who's got the power, the power to read? Who answers the call for friends in need? Super Y! Super Y! He's the guy, he's Super Y! Who's got the power, the power to read? Who looks into books for the answers we need? Super Y! Super Y! And the Super With the Super Readers, adventure awaits when you're with Super Y. Super Y and the Super Readers, yeah. Super Y and the Super Readers. Adventure awaits when you're with Glad you're here. It's me, Wyatt. Welcome to Storybook Village, where all our fairy tale friends live. Oh, look! My friends are playing pretend. Let's go! <laughs> Hi, Wolfie. <laughs> Wyatt, look at our pretend castle. I'm the queen. And I'm pretending I'm a brave knight. I have just the thing that'll make you look like a real knight. <gasps> Ta-da! Every knight needs a helmet. We'll call you... Sir Palehead. Sir Palehead? I don't want to wear a pail on my head. Oh, come on! Let's play! <sighs> Pig, why aren't you playing? Up the hill. I don't want to play. Why? Because I feel silly wearing this pail on my head. It's so embarrassing. This sounds like a super big problem. And a super big problem needs us, the Super Readers. We need to call the rest of the Super Readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all Super Readers. Calling all Super, super readers. readers. To the book club. To the book club. The book club. <laughs> Come on, to the book club. Here. P is for pig. Red Riding Hood rolling in. Princess P, at your service. And you, say your name. Great, we're all here. Together, we will solve Pig's problem. Let's go! Okay, Pig, state your problem. Jill wants me to wear a pail on my head, but I feel silly. Oh. What should I do if I don't want to wear the pail? Good question. When we have a question, we look... In, in a, a book. book! What book should we look in? Peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please! Let's read the title of this book. The Emperor's New Clothes. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to Pig's question. 
First, we look for super letters. And then put them in our super duper computer. Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? Looks like in this story, we need to find seven super letters. And then we'll get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Ready. Arms in. Put your arm in. Super readers, to, to the, the rescue! Alpha Pig, with alphabet power! Wonder Red, with word power! Princess Presto, with spelling power! Super Y, with the power to read! And Super U, with the power to help. Together we are... The Super Readers! Y Flyers! We're ready to fly into this book! Super Readers, to the rescue! It's time to fly! With the Super Readers, cause we've got a problem to solve. Super Readers, to the rescue! Super Readers, working together with powers to read. In the books we fly, to find the Super Story answer, it's Super Emperor's new clothes book. Let's read. Why, writer? Highlight. Read with me. The emperor wanted new clothes for the big parade. New clothes. How I love new clothes. The tailor gave him new clothes that were invisible. Ta-da! Sire, you should wear these clothes. They will look great. But these clothes are invisible. The emperor did not want to wear invisible clothes. Oh, I can't go to the parade like this. I feel so silly! <gasps> Look! The Emperor feels silly wearing see-through clothes, just like I felt silly wearing the pail. And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book. The Emperor and Pig both feel silly. We need to find out what the Emperor does about his invisible clothes. To the Emperor! Drat, there are so many paths, and we don't know which path to take to get to the Emperor's castle. What can we do? Alpha Pig, to the rescue! With my amazing alphabet tools, I can find the way to the castle. My alphabet map will show us which way to go. Aha! We take R Street to L Street, and then go to C Street. The castle is on C Street because castle begins with C. Okay, so first we need to find R Street. Which one is R Street? That one! one. There it is, our street. Let's see. L street.
Street comes next. I don't see it. Where's L Street? There! <gasps> That's it! L Street! Come on! Now we need C Street. Which of these streets is C Street? That one! <gasps> There's C Street! Let's go! Lickety letters! We follow the alphabet streets to the castle! Let's give ourselves a big thumbs up! Keep your eyes out for super letters! You see super letters? Which letters did you find? S P. Good work. We need to put the S and P into our super duper computer. Five more super letters and then we'll get our super story answer. Awesome job, super readers. Now we need to find the emperor. <laughs> that sounds like him. Let's roll. No. Are you the emperor? No, I'm the royal advisor. The Emperor has locked himself in his dressing room and he won't come out. Sire, you must come out. The parade will be starting soon. No! Please, Sire, come out. No, I won't come out. Pretty, please. No, no! Oh. Ah! It gets. The parade, it's about to begin! We need to get the Emperor out of that room. <gasps> but it's locked. And we don't have a key to open the door. Oh, uh, what can we do? Cue the sparkles. Cue the music. Princess Presto to the rescue! With my magic spelling wand, I can spell the word key and make one appear, and a key will unlock the door. Wands up. Ready? What letter makes the sound k k k? Hmm. K. K. Both C and K make a k k k sound, but for this word, we need the letter K. Write a K with me. Nice K! <laughs> now, the next two letters make the sound E. The letters E and Y. Write an E with me. Now let's write a Y. K, E, Y, key! Presto! <laughs> Spectacular spelling! We made a key appear by spelling the word key! <laughs> Let's take a bow! Yippee! Now we can open the door! I think it's stuck! Maybe we can open it if we all together! Help us pull. <coughs> it's almost... <coughs> oh. Oh. Phew. Thanks for your help, Super Readers. You see more super letters? Which letters did you find? E. 
E, A, and K. Now we need to put them in our super duper computer. Two more super letters and then we'll get our super story answer. <gasps> Quick, to the Emperor! Wow, nice dressing room. But where's the Emperor? He's behind the curtain? <laughs> Oh, there's no one here. Where is he? Emperor, we're the super readers, and we want to talk to you. Oh. <gasps> You're in your underwear. I'm so embarrassed. I don't always dress like this. Really, I don't. I thought my tailor made me real clothes, but he made me invisible clothes. And in invisible clothes, you can see my... my... Underwear! Underwear! underwear. I feel so silly. Well, you certainly can't march in the parade in your underwear. No siree. But I'm afraid I have to. Look what it says in my story. The Emperor marches in the parade in his underwear. <gasps> oh, no, no. In my underwear. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Super Y to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change this story and save the day. Let's change the word. Underwear in this sentence. Ready, set, zap! Why, writer, write. Super readers, which word should we use so the emperor doesn't feel silly marching in the parade? Barrel, banana, or clothes? Let's try barrel. Which word is barrel? Hmm. It has two R's in the middle. That one! Let's change the word underwear to barrel. Ready, set, set! Let's read the sentence and see what happens. The emperor marches in the parade in his barrel. Embarrassing too! I can't march in this barrel! Did that help the Emperor? No. No. He would still feel <laughs> silly marching in a barrel. What should the Emperor wear so he doesn't feel silly marching in the parade? Barrel? Banana? Or clothes? Let's try clothes. Which word is clothes? Hmm. That, that one. one! There! Let's zap clothes into the sentence. Ready, set, zap! Let's read. The emperor marches in the parade in his clothes. I'm dressed! I'm wearing clothes! I don't feel embarrassed anymore! Super job, Super Readers! We changed the story, and now the Emperor is wearing clothes! You look great! Very fashionable! The parade is starting! Come on! To the parade! Hello, my people! 
But, Emperor, what about the lovely clothes I made for you? Taylor, I don't want to wear your clothes because your clothes are invisible and everyone would see my underwear. I would feel very silly. I'm wearing actual, real, not invisible clothes in the parade. <laughs> Hello! Speaking up to that tailor felt really good. Hello! I think I look smashing. Hello! You found our last super letters? What letters did you find? U! P! It's U and P. Okay, let's put them in our super duper computer! computer. We found all of our super letters. Now we can get our super story answer. Hello! Hello! Can you see my new clothes? Goodbye, super readers! Bye, Emperor! Enjoy the parade! Why flyers Back to the book club! We found the super story answer with super Y. Super Computer! Give us our Super Story answer! Read the letters with me. S P E A K U P Speak Up! The Super Story answer is... Speak up! But why? Because that's what the Emperor did so he wouldn't feel silly. He told the tailor he wasn't going to march in the parade in his underwear. He learned to speak up. So my question is, what should I do if I feel silly with a pail on my head? And the answer is... Speak, speak up. up! Speak up! I need to speak up and tell Jill how I feel. I know what to do now. Thanks, Super Readers! There you are, Sir Palehead. Are you ready to play? Well... First, I need to speak up and tell you something. Jill, I don't want to wear a pail as a helmet. I feel silly. You do? Oh, that's okay. You don't have to wear it. Really? You don't mind? No, I just want to play. I'll wear the pail on my head. I don't feel silly. You can call me Queen Palehead! <laughs> okay then, I want to be Sir Knight Pig. This lid will be my knight's shield. Let's play Queen Palehead! <laughs> hip hip hooray! The Super Reader saved the day! Hip hip hooray! I just got a note. Let's go. Come on. I can't wait 
to read my note. It says, Dear Wyatt, Roses are red, violets are blue. I think you're cool, and I hope you like me too. Love, your secret friend. Wow, a secret friend? I didn't know I had a secret friend. I wonder who it could be. Up a hill, up a hill. Joe, are you my secret friend? No, sorry, Wyatt. <laughs> are you my secret friend? Did you send me this note? No? I really want to know. How can I find out who my secret friend is? This is a super big problem. And a super big problem needs us, the Super Readers. We need to call the rest of the Super Readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all Super Readers. Calling all Super Readers. To the book club. To the book club. To the book club. Come on, to the book club. Wyatt here. P is for pig. Red Riding Hood rolling in. Princess P at your service. And you, say your name. Great, we're all here. Together, we will solve my problem. Let's go. Okay, Wyatt, state your problem. I got a note from my secret friend. Oh, I love notes. But I don't know who my secret friend is. Oh, dear. Oh, my peas. How can I find out who my secret friend is? Good question. And when we have a question, we look... In, in a, a book. book! What book should we look in? Peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please! Let's read the title of this book. The Elves and the Shoemaker. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to my question. First, we look for super letters. And then put them in our super duper computer. Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? Oh, looks like in this story, we'll need to find eight super letters. And then we'll get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Ready. Arms in. Put your arm in. Super readers, to, to the, the rescue! Alpha Pig, with alphabet power! Wonder Red, with word power! Princess Presto, with spelling power! Super Y, with the power to read. And Super U, with the power to help. Together we are... The Super Readers! Y Flyers! We're ready to fly into this book. Super Readers, to the it's time to fly with the super readers, cause we've got a problem to 
song. Super readers to the rescue. Super readers working together with powers to read. In the books we fly to find a super story. Answer it super wide. Super readers to the rescue. Presto! We're in the Elves in the Shoemaker book. <laughs> Let's read. Why, writer? Highlight! Read with me. There once was a shoemaker who made shoes. When the shoemaker slept at night, secret friends came to help make the shoes. One, two, it's time to make the shoes. Making shoes is what we do. The shoemaker did not know how to find out who his secret friends were. Where are you, little secret helper friends? That's just like me. I don't know how to meet my secret friend. And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book. The shoemaker and I both don't know how we can meet our secret friends. Let's talk to the shoemaker and see what he does to meet his secret friends. Hello. Well, hello there. Welcome to my shoe shop. Did you make all of these shoes? I did, but with a little help. Who helps you? I don't know. When I go to sleep at night, secret friends come and help me. They even leave nice little notes. I want to meet my secret friends, but they only come out at night. What can I do? With my amazing alphabet tools, I can make it nighttime. And then you can meet your secret friends. What a glorious idea! Let's find the letters in the word moon, and then we can make it night. I'll just need my... Lucky letter lasso. First, we need an M. Where is the letter M? There! Right there, an M. Come here, M. Come on. Now we need two O's for moon. Where are two O's? There! Two O's. Come on, O's. Come here. Rustle up two O's. Now the last letter we need is an N. Where is an N? There! The N. Great. Let's rustle up the N. Come here, N. M O. O N Moon Lake the letters. We found the letters in the word moon and made a moon. Let's give ourselves a big thumbs up. And since the moon is out, it's now nighttime, and the secret helpers should come out. You see super letters? Which letters did you find? P-A-Y-T. P-A-Y-T? Let's put them in our super duper computer.
four more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. One, two, it's time to make the shoes. Making shoes is what we do. Woohoo! Oh, I hear someone. Do you? I see the shoemaker's secret friends right there. One, two, time to fix the shoes. Three, four, take the laces from the drawers. Five, six, make the leather so it sticks. That is so nice to help the shoemaker with his shoes. Time for the shoemaker to meet his secret friends. Secret friends, meet the shoemaker. <laughs> shoemaker? Oh, no, no. Where is he? The shoemaker is in bed, sleeping, because we made it nighttime. Oh, my chinny chin chin. We need the shoemaker to wake up. What can we do? Wonder Rat to the rescue! With my Wonder Word basket, I can find a word that will make it daytime. Then the shoemaker will wake up. What's this word? Read it with me. What sound does the letter B make? Ba! But letter B makes the B sound. What sound does this part make? Un! Un. This is an un word. I love un words. Un, sun, bun. Wonderific, you're terrific. Fun, pun, run. Wonderific, you're terrific. Un! Let's read the whole word. B, un, bun, bun. Mm, I love bun. Buns with white frosting. Did the bun make it daytime? No. no. Nope. Double drats. We need another un word. How about this one? Read it with me. Here's an S. Now, what sound does the letter S make? S. The letter S makes the S sound. And this is the un. Let's read the whole word. S. Un. S. Un. Sun. Sun! Will the sun make it daytime? Yes! Yes! yes. Wonderific! You are terrific! We changed the bun into sun! Now the shoemaker can wake up because the sun made it daytime. And he can meet his secret friends. Oh, this is so exciting! You see some super letters? What letters did you find? L, E! L and E. Let's put them in our super duper computer! <laughs> Two more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer! Oh, and here comes the shoemaker! Uh, oh, good morning! Are my secret friends here? Where are you, little secret helper friends? They were right here. Why did they go away again? I know why. When we made it daytime, they disappeared. They only come out at night. Oh, woe is me! 
I'm sure you will meet your secret friends, Shoemaker. No, I won't. It's my story. See, it says right here. The Shoemaker never meets his secret friends. I'll never meet them. <laughs> what can I do? Super Y to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change this story and save the day. Let's change the words never meets in the sentence. Ready, set, zap! Y Rider, right. Which word will help the shoemaker to meet its helpers? Feeds, scares, or invites? Let's try feeds. Which is the word feeds? It has two E's in it. There! Let's zap it into our sentence. Ready, set, zap! Now, let's read again. The shoemaker feeds his secret friends. Oh, delicious! Cheese and crackers to feed my secret friends. Hello, secret friends. Oh, forgot the cheese. Uh, be right back. My crackers. Oh, dear. They ate my crackers, but then ran away again. Did feeding his secret friends help the shoemaker meet them? No. 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 I guess feeds didn't help. What word will help the shoemaker meet his secret friends? Feeds? Scares? Or invites? Let's try the word invites. Which word is invites? It starts with an I. There! Let's zap it into the sentence. Ready, set, zap! Now, let's read again. The shoemaker invites his secret friends. I have an idea. I'm going to invite my helpers to meet me by writing them a note. Dear secret friends, I invite you to meet me for a play date. Sincerely, the shoemaker. Now, I'll just put the invitation on my work table so they can find it. It's an invitation for us. Hello. 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 How do you do? It sure is nice to finally meet you. My secret friends, I finally get to meet you. Thanks for inviting us. I'm so glad that I invited you to stay. Now we can play. Hooray! Super job, super readers. We changed the story and the elves came to play. You see super letters? What letters did you find? D. A. D. A. Okay, let's put them in our super duper computer. We found all of our super letters. Now we can get our super story answer. Goodbye, super readers. Thank you for helping me to meet my secret friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Elf. Bye, secret friends. Bye, Shoemaker. Have a good day. Why flyers Back to the book club. We found the super story answer with Silver Eye. <laughs> Super duper computer.
computer. Give us our super story answer. Read the letters with me. P, L, A, Y, D, A, T, E. Play date. Our super story answer is play date. But why? Because the shoemaker invited his secret friends for a play date. So my question is, how can I find out who my secret friend is? And the answer is... Play date! That's a great idea! I'll invite my secret friend for a play date. Come on! Let's invite my secret friend to come over for a play date. I'll leave this invitation right here for my secret friend. There's Jill. But she said she wasn't my secret friend. Is Mom my secret friend? Nope. Mom went inside the house with Baby Joy. Is that my secret friend? Wyatt! I'm here for our play date! Little Bo Peep, are you my secret friend? I guess I'm not a secret anymore. Thanks for inviting me for a play date. Sure. And thank you for my secret note. Tag, you're it! <laughs> hip hip hooray! The super reader saved the day! Hip hip hooray! Hooray! The super reader saved the day! We changed the story, we solved the problem, we worked together so hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! You know what? I'm going to a sleepover at Pig's. Uh-oh. Pig looks upset. Let's go see what's wrong. Hi, Red. Hi, little boy Blue. Cool skating moves. Wyatt, come on in. Pig's in his room. Thanks. Hi, Pig. Ready for our sleepover? No! Why? What's the matter, Pig? I can't find my toy hippo, and I need Henry Hippo so I can sleep. That's not good. Where are you, Henry Hippo? I've looked everywhere, but I just can't find Henry Hippo. What do I do if I can't find Henry Hippo? This is a super big problem. And the super big problem needs us, the Super Readers. We need to call the rest of the Super Readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all Super Readers. Calling all Super Readers. To the book club. To the book club. To the book club. Come on, to the book club. Wyatt here. P is for pig. Red Riding Hood rolling in. Princess P, at your service. And you, say your name. Great, we're all here. 
Together, we will solve Pig's problem. Let's go! Okay, Pig, state your problem. Henry Hippo's gone, and I don't know what to do to find him. Oh, no! <gasps> Poor Hippo! What can I do to find Henry Hippo? Good question. When we have a question, we look... In, in a book. book! What book should we look in? Peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please! Let's read the title of this book. Thumbelina. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to Pig's question. First, we look for super letters. And then put them in our super duper computer. Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? Oh, in this story, we need 10 super letters. And then we'll get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Ready. Arms in. Put your arm in. Super readers, to, to the, the rescue! rescue. To read. And Super U with the power to help. Together we are the Super Readers! Y Flyers! We're ready to fly into this book! Super Readers to the rescue! It's time to fly with the Super Readers Cause we've got a problem to solve Super Readers to the rescue Super Readers working together with powers to read In the books we fly to find the Super Story answer It's Super Wild Just a butterfly. Whew. Let's read. Why, writer? Highlight! Read with me. There was a tiny girl named Thumbelina. Hello, I'm Thumbelina. Thumbelina wanted to visit her friend Thimble. This is my friend Thimble. Thumbelina did not know where Thimble lived. I don't know what to do to find Thimble. <gasps> Just like I don't know what to do to find Henry Hippo. And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book. Thumbelina and Pig both want to find someone special, but don't know how. We need to talk to Thumbelina and figure out how she finds Thimble. But where is Thumbelina? Hmm. 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 Hello, up here. There she is, to Thumbelina. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, Thumbelina. We're the Super Readers, and we want to talk to you. Hello. Will you come with me to look for my friend Thimble? Of course. Yippee! But I don't know which way to go first. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Swallow says to follow the daisies out of the garden, and then we'll come to the river. Thanks, Swallow. But how will we find our way to the river? Alpha Pig to the rescue! With my wonderful watering can, I can help us find our way out of the garden into the river. Say the alphabet with me. A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh-oh. What letter comes after F? G! G! Let's keep jumping. G! H! I! J! <gasps> what letter comes after J? Mm, K! After J. Cool. Okay. Let's go. K L M N O P. Hmm. What letter comes after the letter P? Q. Q. Q comes after P. We're almost there. Let's jump to the end of the alphabet. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Lakey letters! We followed the alphabet flowers out of the garden and found the river. Let's give ourselves a big thumbs up. Come on, this way! Oh, this is fun! <laughs> Whoopsie daisy! Uh. Be sure to look out for super letters! Do you see super letters? What letters did you find? S and O. Let's put them in our super duper computer. computer! Seven more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. Way to go, super readers. I'm glad we found the river. I don't know which way to go next to find Thimble. Thumbelina! It's my old friend, Mole. Good to see you, my friend. I want to visit my friend Thimble, but I don't know where he lives. Can you help me? Well, I know where to go. Follow the river to the bottom of the mountain. That's where Thimble lives. I must be off. Goodbye! <laughs> To the bottom of the mountain. Let's roll. Oh, my peas. A waterfall. Double drat. The waterfall goes to the bottom of the mountain. But how will we get down the waterfall? Cue the sparkle. Cue the music. Princess. To the rescue! With my magic spelling wand, I can spell something to take us down the waterfall. I know! A log! A log will take us down the waterfall. 
Will you help me spell the word log? Splendid! Wands up! Spell with me. What letter makes the sound ooh? Write an L with me. L. And now, what letter makes the sound ah? O. O. Let's write an O. A big circle. O. What letter makes the sound g? G! G! Write a G with me. L, O, G, log! Presto! Spectacular spelling! We spelled log and made a log appear. Let's take a bow. to the log and down the waterfall. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> that was so fun! We're at the bottom of the mountain. You found super letters? What letters did you find? P H A F P H A and F. Let's put them in our super duper computer. Three more super letters and then we'll get our super story answer. <gasps> this must be the town where Thimble lives. But I still don't know which house he lives in. Let's find someone who can help. Hmm. Why won't anybody answer? Oh dear, it's in my story, see? Everyone is asleep. Hmm, double drats. Thumbeline is right. Oh my, if everyone's asleep, then no one will be able to tell me where Thimble lives. What will I do? Super Y to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change this story and save the day! Let's change the word asleep in the sentence. Let's zap it. Ready, set, zap! Y writer, write. Which word should we use so everyone is not asleep? Snoring, awake, or napping? Let's try snoring. Which is the word snoring? Hmm, it begins with an S. Let's zap the word snoring into the sentence. Ready, set, zap! Let's read. Everyone is snoring. Does snoring help us so everyone is not asleep? No. Nope. We need another word. Which word should we use so everyone is not asleep? Snoring, awake, or napping? Let's try awake. 
which is the word awake? Hmm, it begins with an A. There! There's the word awake. Let's zap it. Ready, set, zap! Let's read. Everyone is awake. Super job, super readers. We changed the story, and now everyone's awake. Everyone's awake. So now I can ask for help. Hmm, but who should I ask? There's a police person. Perfect. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Policeman? I'm trying to find my friend Thimble but I don't know where he lives. Hmm. Can you help me? Absolutely. I'm here to help. He has black hair and brown eyes. I know Thimble. He lives four houses down. Thank you so much, Mr. Policeman. You're welcome. To Thimble's house we go. One, two, three, four. Swallow, and Mole, and finally a policeman. That was so smart. Now we can play! <laughs> Whoa! You found super letters? What letters did you find? L, K, and R. Okay. Let's zap them in. Our super duper computer. computer! We found all of our super letters. Now we can get our super story answer. Thank you for everything, super readers. You're welcome. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Super Readers. Goodbye. Why Flyers? Back to the book club. We found the Super Story answer with Super Why. <laughs> Super Computer! Give us our super story answer! Read the letters with me. A, S, K, F, O, R, H, E, L, P. Ask for help. The super story answer is, ask for help. But why? Because when Thumbelina didn't know where Thimble lived, she asked lots of people for help. So my question is, what can I do to find Henry Hippo? And the answer is... Ask, ask for, for help. help! Oh, if I want to find Henry Hippo, maybe I need to ask for help. Get ready, Henry Hippo! Here I come! Hmm, who should I ask? Papa Pig! What's going on, son? I don't know where Henry Hippo is. Could you help me find him, please? Well, sure. Hmm, let's think. 
do you remember when you last played with him? Well, I thought it was in my room. Well, before that, where were you? Hmm, I was in the backyard. <gasps> with you! <laughs> I should look there. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> <gasps> there he is! There he is! Look! I asked for help and found Henry Hippo! Hip hip hooray! The super reader saved the day! Hip hip hooray! Hooray! The super reader saved the day! We solved the problem. We went together, so hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! hooray. The super reader saved the day. Hip hip. Hooray.